What's going on, folks? Um, I recently did um, a poll on um, Oprah Winfrey and say uh, the poll was, did they think that Oprah Winfrey's talk show brought the black community closer together? And the response was 75% said no. And I want to talk about, um, you know, Oprah, her, her show growing up, um, all you saw in that show was her pitting um, or putting black men against black women or black women against black men. And I always wondered, like, even when I was younger, I was like, like, why? I mean, she, she was, you know, a very talented talk show host, um, someone that just had a natural gift. But I just don't understand how that content, um, you know, wasn't called out uh, enough uh, by us as, as the black community. And it became just like a very successful talk show, not just to, um, you know, black people, but um, she had a large uh, audience of all ethnicities. And it just seems like, um, you know, she got her highest ratings when it was pinning us against each other, um, you know, calling out a black man for cheating, calling out a black woman for doing this, that, and the third. I'm like, that is not the majority of us, right? And when you have to understand is, looking in society, is when they promote something, right? They promote something that's related to black people. I want you to look at something. I want you to notice. Does it bring us together or does it bring us further apart? You look at the movie, The Color Purple, right? And I want to be open and honest about that movie. You know, things happen in, in that movie that has happened in reality, right? Where, um, you know, you know, you had uh, toxic men, right? And, and, and families, right? You had, um, you know, uh, fathers that did not treat um, you know, their, their daughter's right, right? But if we want to sit here and say that that is the majority, um, you know, that is a, a blatant lie. But I always wonder, I was like, why do people love the Color Purple movie so much? Why do they keep redoing it, right? And then I look at it from a, a standpoint of, did that movie bring us closer together? Or did it hate, made us hate each other, right? Did it get the men mad because they're like, man, all oh, men ain't like that. Did it get the men, uh, women angry? See, that's why I don't mess with you guys because you're all like that, right? And who is in the mix for this movie? Oprah. Even Gail King was in the movie, right? And we have to come together as a people and say, do not let someone else that is outside of the black community put us against each other. Do we have issues among ourselves? Yes, right? Do we have to improve our relationships among ourselves? Yes. Do we have to get closer? Do we have to unite? Yes, right? But every ethnicity, right, um, you know, has something going on, right, that they have to fix and address. We just been a body of people that have been dealt with oppression, discrimination, racism, prejudice, stereotypes, all those different things that we've been battling in life that we have not made time to just sit among ourselves and have a town hall, not on TV, right? Not on radio, but amongst ourselves, right? In every state, in every location, right? And really just start understanding each other and how to build among ourselves. So I always just find it interesting how these movies win all these awards, right? Anything that is related to us being um, at odds with each other. But when it comes to unity, it doesn't go viral. But when it comes to us beefing and going back and forth with each other, um, that is just TMZ eats it up, uh, New York Post eats it up, Daily Mail, all of these different sites. It's like they love seeing us um, as mortal enemies. So I think Oprah has, has done a disservice um, as far as the, the helping the black community as a whole. Um, I don't think she has helped us uh, men come closer to women and women cl um, come closer to men. Um, I, I think, um, you know, her, um, you know, her goal was 
to call out the toxic men out there in the atmosphere, right? But she never said anything about Harvey Weinstein. I don't think she's ever even publicly called him out for all the toxic things that he has done, right? But she was quick, quick to call out black men, um, you know, who did the same thing, right? Which they went to prison, they're doing time as well, but you didn't see the same amount of, of anger, right? The same amount of energy that, that she had uh, towards Harvey Weinstein, who was her actual friend. Right. So it just makes you think sometimes all these hidden agendas, um, um, you know, Gail King, did she do an interview with Harvey Weinstein? You know, did, did Oprah do one? Did she get an exclusive? Right. Call him out. No, but they got pictures with him all on the Internet. So to me, um, I think Oprah and then now you're starting to see her come out with content now where she's saying that black men are not deadbeats. Black men are good fathers. Black men are dedicated husbands. Now she's doing it, right? But not when she was in the prime of her career. She wasn't doing that, you know? So it's kind of like pandering now, right? But a lot of black men, um, you know, really don't deal with Oprah like that because of her hidden agenda, right? Um, not bringing us together as a people. So I think she had the platform to do it. I thought she had the power to do it. Right. To have more conversation of, of us coming together and not being at odds with each other. Um, but she saw, um, you know, how profitable and how popular, um, you know, putting us against each other, how that pretty much made her a household name. I'm not going to say that Oprah is not gifted. She's not talented. Right. Um, she doesn't have, um, you know, a, a next level talent. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying she used her powers for bad. And she's going to have to live with that now that she's trying to go on and, um, you know, say black men are, are, are good and we are this, that, and the third. Uh, I feel it's too late. Um, 50 Cent called her out years ago because he saw how she was calling out us, you know, calling out black men. But she was never calling out um, men that were not black. Um, that were doing the same thing and they were actually her friends in her circle. So this just makes you think and when I put this poll on my page and saw that 75% uh, think that she has um, hurt the black community and have not brought, brought us together. Uh, not really surprised by that. Like I know a lot of black women love Oprah. Like she's helped, um, you know, black women that have been dealing with um, you know, being a single mom, dealing with um, being cheated on. But that, to me, is not the majority of black women. The majority of black women um, have not been cheated on, right? Um, there are a minority of black men that do cheat, right? But she was the one that um, enlarged uh, the, uh, you know, the, the toxic men out there, right? That every ethnicity has, right? But she didn't understand, and I don't think people start understanding the impact that media has, right? Because once you portray how black men are or how you think they are on your show, on your platform, not just people in the United States are going to go off of that image, but other countries are going to go off that image of what they think we as black men are um, and, and viewing black women as well. And giving a false narrative of, of how you think they are, right? We have to understand at the end of the day that it is not profitable for America uh, for black men and black women to come together because with that $1.7 trillion, right, they're looking at where is that going to go. But when we support ourselves, when we get counseling together, when we have town hall, um, you know, meetings together. Uh, when we build among ourselves, right? When we, um, you know, call our, our wrongs in front of each other and, and come up with solutions on how to be the best versions of ourselves, um, you know, we um, grow, 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 grow uh, consistently every year with that mindset. So um, Oprah, um, I just always wonder, like they keep remaking the color purple. 
Um, and I just say to myself, how is that going to bring us together as a community? 